Journalist and author Ken Oletta, he's covered the media industry for The New Yorker for the past two decades. Welcome. So you have covered this and you know this industry. What are the three questions that you're asking about Facebook at this moment? Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook believes that ads should be information, which is Google's point of view. How do you make ads informational on Facebook is a big question, and that's why advertisers are asking that question. We interrupt your Facebook page to bring you this ad. A, a typical TV-like ad, rich media ad, is not going to work. So you have to figure out some other way to do it. And they have engineers working on that. A second and a huge issue for them is the mobile phone. Over ha half the people who access Facebook, which is 901 million in the world, don't do it through a mobile phone at a time when mobile phones are becoming a dominant device. Mm -hmm. They have to figure out how to get uh, on access to mobile phones and how to do ads on mobile phones. And I suspect they're going to have to figure out how to be in the mobile phone business themselves mm -hmm. in order to control that platform and not leave it to, to their adversaries like Google. And, and the third issue is privacy. They have all this data. Are they going to share it with advertisers? And yeah. as, as advertisers mm -hmm. say to you, they'd like to have more of that, that data. But does a consumer want to have them share their data? It's my data. Why do I want to mm. share it with an advertiser? Which has been an issue for them in the way that they change their privacy policies right. sort of covertly. There's also this new poll out that almost half of Americans say they think Facebook is a passing fad. How dangerous is that? Well, I, 901 million users is not quite a fad. I mean, that's a pretty big user Soon to base. be a billion. Yeah, yeah. It's a, and it's growing exponentially. Even their revenues, it's roughly $4 billion now, and it'll probably be $6 billion next year. So it's growing. The question is, is it growing as fast as Google, people ask? Mm -hmm. and, and will it have a plateau? We and don't how know does it make money off of growth? Right. And, and that's a big question, because when you look at the advertising question, 85% of Facebook sales are coming from advertising. Mm -hmm. And in order to continue to grow, it has to obviously grow those users. One in eight people around the world are using it. So there still are more people out there who haven't used Facebook, but also making that case to companies that it makes sense for them to pay for advertising. Because like you saw mm -hmm. from Quiznos and Ford and General Motors, some companies are finding ways to be on Facebook without really paying Facebook mm -hmm. to be there. They can create these free fan pages and still get something for it. And of course now they're beholden to shareholders with those questions. Yeah, and, and that could change obviously the strategy going forward too. There's also the financial question. A uh, hundred billion dollar company, they've added the number of shares they're going to sell, yet at the same time some of the early big investors seem to be selling at this point. What do we read from that? I don't necessarily read anything out of that. I mean, I they're just, I mean people are just cashing and making a lot of money. What a stupid question. <laughs> well, and, and this happens. I mean, I used to work on Wall Street, and you see this all the time in IPOs. Companies that have been invested for a long time in new startups say, I'm taking the money while I can take it. My investors want to see that we made a return, and they're still in it. It's not yeah. like they've entirely cashed out of Facebook. Well, what Peter Thiel is half, he's cashing in half his holding. He still has half. Yeah. So what are their great plans for the future? I mean, you've got to, they've got to think about mobile. They've got to ask the question or answer the question, which the New York Times Post, which we've been talking about. The $100 billion question is whether Facebook will be a perfect home for advertising, the point you raised. Um, so when they look to their future, how do they want to take advantage of size and cash? They, one of the big challenges, and it's an engineering challenge for yeah. them, and, and how do they make their ads informational? And so it satisfies the advertiser mm -hmm. that this is a good ad, and yet it satisfies Mark Zuckerberg, who has a very strong view about this, yeah. that, that li like Google, you look at those Google ads, and they, people see it as informational. This, it's part of their search. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what Facebook wants to have. So the ad is integrated into the, pe the person who's using Facebook. They want to sort of control the definition of Facebook. Yeah, and but but they don't want to be they don't want to be in a situation where he feels it's kind of cheesy and we interrupt right. your use of Facebook in order to bring you this ad. That's that's want, bad for the advertising. Bad for you Facebook. want it to feel seamless, yeah, so it's not. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Rebecca.